I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So we've been tailing uh, the Ar Argonian for the Thieves Guild, and I've let him walk all the way, well, most of the way to where he needs to go. This is what Solitude looks like from beneath. It's pretty awesome. You can see all the birds flying around in the air, and uh, some of the graphical slowdown that you get from seeing the birds flying around in the air. Nice reflections of water. It's basically a perfect area to test your video uh, hardware. Looks like these other Argonians are kind of in the way. You again. We have nothing else to discuss. You talk to Ed Brothers. Deja has no words for you. You look new. I'm new too. Okay. I think Why I could be friends. following me. I told you be best. I don't know if anything else until you've completed it. Unfortunately. Task. Those Argonians are blocking the, the way for our Argonian to actually head to where he needs to go, but it looks like he just teleported there. Which is a pretty handy thing for NPCs to be able to do. So yeah, basically we're going to follow him into the uh, shipping area. He's going to slip in here, and I am going to unlock the door and slip in behind him. There is a chance that I didn't wait long enough after that. This is also a pretty big area, so maybe it makes sense for it to take a while to load. I really like the effort that they put into the uh, art for the game. Okay, let's go invisible. And yeah, the problem is if you're not invisible here, then the NPCs will uh, will come and get you. And there are quite a lot of them, so it's a pain in the butt. And you get yelled at. Uh, your guild yells at you if uh, if you kill people. So. I'm going to stay invisible and try and sneak around probably at a distance like this. You probably do want to have a decent sneak skill for this part of the game. You're not supposed to be in here. I think that's that's partially a glitch. You shouldn't be able to notice uh, notice you that way, and if they do, then uh, being invisible shouldn't cause them to uh, shouldn't cause them to forget. But. Skyrim does have a fair number of glitches in it. This would not be the first one. So this seems pretty reasonable for the kinds of things that a uh, that a shipping company would keep on hand. Quickly out of the light. 
because the level of light around definitely affects how easy uh, you are to spot. Although I should note that the silent casting perk is really pretty important to have for this part of the game. Okay, there's a guard guy coming up. There's not a lot of clearance, so I'm going to scoot to the other side here before I follow. And looks like I'm stuck under here. Let me out. Okay. Keep on moving. So he has uh, a hideout somewhere in here. Wow, that is, looks like really big ships could be docked in here. It's rather impressive. And where is his hideout? It is over here somewhere. So let's keep on Moving. Oh shoot, now he's coming back this way. That's not good. So yeah, he checked a book over there of some sort. And this is just another sign that the size of the uh, cities in uh, Skyrim, they're not showing, uh, they can't be showing the full city if they want it to be a reasonable depiction because th this area I think is bigger than all of Skyrim or I'm, I'm sorry not all of Skyrim all of Solitude it would just make no sense to have this for how few people there actually are okay so I'm gonna wait for him to walk a little bit away from the door because I don't want uh, want to bump into him as he's stepping in we're probably good now. But yeah, this this quest does take a while. It is, it's irritatingly slow, uh, just watching him uh, walk all the way to here, even before he makes it inside. On the other hand, it, it is kind of neat to see the architecture. Okay, so now our quest has changed to confront him. This looks like a trap. Unfortunately, there, there are bandits in here, and I caught a disease, rattles. Well, that's good. Let's see what rattles does. I don't think I've ever caught that one before. Oh, it reduces my stamina regen by 50%. That's survivable. It looks like he sprinted somewhere back here within the few seconds that he's been um, looks like bandits like to swim. Well, that's kind of cool. Suppose they're allowed. Wonder if I can actually manage to slip by her without. Yes, nice. Definitely a testament to my sneaking skill. Keep on moving, and he is straight ahead. Okay, we're gonna need to find another way to get past her because and I'm hoping that this doesn't blow my cover to be. Okay, doing okay so far. There's a dog barking though, that's not a great sign. But, okay. And here's one of these bear traps, which I'm going to actually 
grab and see if I can pull it into the water. But... Ow. Oh, great. Caught another disease. Anyhow, he is on the other side of these guys. So I'm just going to keep on moving smoothly past all the bandits without killing him. Because I am a thief and not an assassin. Well, I don't think the game would actually mind if I uh, killed bandits, but... Isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything. Honestly, please, he'll help me kill. All right, all right. It's Carlia. Her name is Car Mercer. Carlia is the thief. For help, please. You have to. I don't know. Here, take the gold and blow estate deed. As well. <gasps> when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Okay, so that takes care of that. And now... I don't actually really want to kill these guys, because I'm trying to be sneaky, so... Uh, on the other hand, I'm taking some damage. So... I'm going to close my wounds. And then go invisible again. If I can. Ooh, come on, guys. Really? Can't wait. You can't hide from me. Well, I'm trying. Maybe I can. Give me a chance. So I'm not sure what is up here. It does look like a gate of some kind. And another gate of some or another This almost looks like a, a little private prison. Anyhow, so we have I kind of like the idea of, of turning wood to gold. That's amusing. I'm just going to hop in the water here and swim the, the rest of the way out. I don't remember if this area is one of those that has a uh, that has a quick exit, but even if it does, it's not too bad just to make it out this way. Although the game does seem to be lagging a fair bit right now, so... And we've passed the exit, and there's a... Oh no, that isn't necessarily the exit. Come on guys, don't look in the water, don't look in the water. Okay, maybe I'm... I might be okay. Yeah, looking okay so far. So I guess I just need to slip out of the warehouse and I should be good. And yeah, this this actually is the quest line that opens up the really fun uh, thematic uh, big uh, thief skilled quests. So
dock. So how can I get up back up on the dock as quickly as possible? I don't see any stairs or anything like that. Aha, uh -huh. those look like stairs. have to avoid any guards and uh, and I suppose if I'm seen I can just make a break for it but it would definitely be more thematically appropriate to make our way out without being spotted it looks like that is what we have done cool So I think that's all that we're going to do in the immediate vicinity, uh, or in the immediate vicinity of, of solitude for right now. We are going to head back and report to the vampires that we um, that we filled the blood water chalice. I think. done with that. Now it is kind of tempting to head back up into solitude to cure the two dis uh, diseases that we caught, but I think I will probably do that when I uh, return to Riften, which I believe I have to do anyhow to go to the Thieves Guild. Castle full of car, and there are some more birds. Now, in theory, I think you might be able to shoot down the birds. Um, there are alchemy ingredients that seem like they're bird related. I've never managed to shoot down a bird. But I can't otherwise imagine how you would easily get those alchemy ingredients, so. Maybe I'm just particularly bad at uh, at hitting them. Or maybe there, there are ways to stun them, like shouting at the birds to knock them out of the sky before uh, going for them. So where, who do I need to talk to here? Ah, someone who's almost right ahead, is it him? Good to see a new face here, especially one that isn't attached to an elf. Between you and me, there's too many of them. Can't trust a lot of them, never could. Want my advice? Avoid getting wrapped up. Of course, we'll cozy up to you. Use his honey's words to get you to lower your guard. They use you and throw you away when it's done. That sounds like a guy with a story. Um, so where is the person I'm trying to find? Apparently I passed right by him. Well, I'm not sure who you are. You're new here. 
So I'll explain this once. You feed from the thralls as much as you like. You kill them, and I'll split you in half. All over Skyrim. Sometimes you get one who comes willingly, but most have to be convinced to join us here. Huh. That's weird. And there is Serana. Actually, I'm gonna have to use the mini map. So I've passed my destination again. Say hi I to Vigalmo. And say Sorry. hi. Uh, Serana doesn't have a lot to say to me right now. I leave politics to others. Okay, that's no good. So turn a little bit left and straight ahead. Okay, so one of these two, maybe. Or do I just have to put the thing back? No. You can't trust the word that comes out of Vigalmo's mouth. I see you have Okay. This is who we need. Lord Harkon will be pleased. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume. Lord Harkon and I suspect they might follow you there. Well, of welcome, Vingalmo and Ortheolf. Each sought to gain power by ensuring the chalice reaches our lord. You've done Lord Harkon two great services. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes my to speak with. Okay. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived. So Harkon is straight ahead. Yeah, it So the compass in the game is really great. It just would be so much greater. Yeah, it would be so much better if it were just a little bit more reliable. Ah. Ah. You are here. Yes, I did. When I told you that I was great Good. As you know, Vampa, for centuries I saw the prophecy, I believe. I have all come now and hear my proclamation. Huh. I would not be relaxing in a room that had something like that in it. But I suppose vampires probably have different tastes if they're used to feeding on people. Hey, dude. Science of the night. Hear my words. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself and forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Now that I have reclaimed one of my elders, didn't mean to block you there. Must find a moth priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an elder scroll in Skyrim to lure a moth priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth and search the land for rumors of a moth priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now and carry out this task. This is my command. It will be done. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I, you know, the wizards know. Actually, now that I think, of, I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Okay, so we have Serana back with us, and uh, we're going to go look for a moth priest. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived. Now, unfortunately, all of the other people who, he, who he's asked to do this are just going to goof off. But I suppose it would be kind of weird for the main character in a game like this to have uh, to need to compete with other people trying to do his or her quests. So, 
Off we go. So I could pick uh, Jazargo back up here. But I'm not going to do it right now. I'm not actually sure if I'm allowed to do it right now while uh, Serana is following me. I'll probably do that uh, in a later um, episode if I end up uh, swapping Serana back out. She's quite good at magic as well. Although she doesn't really have the staying power that Jusargo does. Except that she's unkillable. But apart from that, like once she's out of Magicka, then she typically is just going to stay there and be uh, beaten on by enemies. While Jazargo is pretty decent with heavy armor and weapons, so he'll be he'll be fine in that instance. Back to the college, which actually looks a little bit like uh, Harkon's castle. Do I have something else to do here? Well, no, I don't think that... We're going to head up to the library. I don't want to see you treating any a moth priest. What an oblivion do you need a moth priest for? Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious sometimes they go out looking for El. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragon Bridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. Okay. That is that. Now we'll open this up and head on out. Actually, it might make sense to see if I've gotten good enough at Conjuration to handle a Storm Thrall yet. Who's there? Oh, I think I, I thought I, oh, there's a dragon. Great. Okay, so let's summon, I don't know where that Frost Atronach landed. Where did the dragon go? Oh, it's up ahead somewhere. Okay. Let's put a new Frost Atronach there. Okay, Ancient Dragon right up there. And I uh, definitely need to keep my health up because. Particularly as a vampire, I do get inherit a weakness of fire, or weakness from fire. Okay, you're up there. And we're going to have unrelenting force because... And need to be ready to close our wounds again. seems to have run away. Well, at least left there. 
And I seem to have a decent number of uh, potions of magic at this point. It's good. And I think I might have just about damaged him enough that he won't be able to stay up in the air, so let's again make sure that we don't die here. And let's see where he's gonna land. He is gonna land down there. Okay, well that works for me certainly. I do need to make sure again that I don't burn up. And I hope that Serana is not meleeing him. Where is she? Wonder, can I hit him in the tail? Yeah, apparently I can. Uh, well, if I can hit him in the tail, then I can... He is damageable in the tail, I suppose, is the right way to put it. And I think that did him in. Sweet. So I'm gonna... Drop down. Oof. Grab his bones and scales. And we are... We have killed that dragon. Okay, now we're going to try and stop by the Conjuration dude and anybody else who sells spells to see if we, if there are more spells that we should have that we don't have. Okay, that is good. Phineas. I think he's the conjuration guy. So you wish to master the arcane arts. Yes, that would be wonderful. Okay, so I cannot yet summon Storm Atronox. That is disappointing. Yeah, so there's nothing actually that I can get from him at this point then. Um, okay, illusion. I don't think there actually are any more illusion spells that I want. And she's the destruction mage, so I don't actually have anything useful to learn from her. I wonder, have I actually trained five times this level yet? Where did he go? There are few places where what Take a look. Okay, is there... I guess I can sell that. I could sell the Wabajack, but I would rather just keep it. I don't have any use for fine clothing. Or party clothing. Uh, I'll teach you some of what I And yeah, I can't, can't be trained anymore, so... What is... Is there... Okay, I'm just puzzled by that. I have no idea what this could be, but it seems to be down beneath here, but I don't think the, the map... I don't think the map goes further down than that. Unless... Okay, this is kind of a geeky detail, but I just remembered that uh, NPCs, when you buy or sell something to them, it actually goes to an invisible chest that they have nearby. So it's possible that I sold one of them at the books that the uh, game wants me to read. Uh, this might actually be that book. So Malin's, or Malin's Grimoire. Well, all right then. 
I've read it. No, Dana Spalin. I'm sorry, that's that's different. The people of Sky So you wish to master the arcane arts? Uh, since I clearly don't need that book, might as well get rid of uh, these other books as well. Um, why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's talk to all the other NPCs in the area to see if I might have uh, sold it to them. You know, they say Nolan. Take a look. So, Danis Phelan's journal and notes. Maybe it's one of these two. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I wasn't, I don't think I was supposed to sell that to him. And the game had stored it in, anyhow. Let's keep moving. So we're going to head to Dragon Bridge to go find the Moth Priest. And I suppose I probably would have visited with um, Josarko just to say hi. If this were a real visit, you can just kind of take it for granted that, or let's just pretend that I did. So it looks like the books of this time were definitely old style books where Fairly frequently, once they aged just a little bit, the sizes of the pages differed from each other. And certainly books as they, as they become really worn, even modern books eventually get like that, depending on how they're printed. But older books are particularly susceptible to it. So if you find like a 50-year-old book or 60-year-old book, or certainly any book that, uh, that's older than that, you'll, you'll just notice that the printing's off. They weren't perfectionist in the same way, or they just didn't have the technology in the same way that we have today that uh, lets them uh, that lets them avoid those problems. Working hard? Nah, I don't think so. Her name's Olda. I swear that woman is the most spiteful shrew in all of Skyrim. Wow, sounds like a happy marriage. So somebody here probably knows what, what's up with the moth priest. Go fiddling with it. Ah, he rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop. They set it south across the Dragon Bridge. So not only is your compass magic, but so is your quest journal. Because otherwise you would probably just think, we need to go to another city. But your quest journal says to search the road, so search the road we shall. Find some dead soldiers. And a dead vampire. Vampire dandruff. I think Malchus might have been. Okay, so I want to head due east of here. Malchus might be another one of the one of the people who live at Castle Holokar. And you can actually see blood trails leading uh, along the road here. Kind of nasty. And uh, entrance to the cave is somewhere somewhere up ahead. 
So in reality, I, I suppose she would probably be offering commentary about this, but I'm not actually sure how many of the other people in her father's court she knows, because it's at least possible, given how long that she was entombed there, that uh, that her father converted them after uh, after she was entombed. And another weird thing about this is that Harkon is the only other vampire who you see taking vampire lord form. Theoretically, I think Serana could, and at least several other vampires, there's good reason to think that they should be able to take that form. And that is how you know that something interesting is going on. I don't think I can survive a fall of that height. Uh, but fortunately, there are stairs heading down here. And I can conjure myself up a frost atronach to go and say hello to this hound. It's just a regular dog. Yeah. Neat use of water here. Like this, this really would be a neat place to set up camp in a gigantic cave, uh, which has that kind of water flowing through it. Through it. That is an armored troll. And I am going to do this the fun way of... These guys are kind of hard to, uh, kind of hard to kill with your uh, vampire attacks because they're wearing armor that gives them a certain amount of resistance. So I do have the alternative of of using vampire grip to just throw them into the water, but. So that's what I, I like doing with the Dawn Guard. You can just grab them and toss them straight up and usually they will fall far enough that they'll at least take a good amount of damage and it'll often kill them. So let us keep on heading up. And those vampires put up a hell of a fight. You think they turned him? I don't know. Okay, here are some more uh, down guard. Really? Because I've taken no appreciable damage, and you are nearly dead. Of course, you're not dying very quickly, but... Sweet. Although there is a quirk in the game that uh, if you happen to be adventuring with, um, with uh, Serena, your vampire drain life attacks do a lot less damage, so... Good. I'll pop up here. Actually, well, I'll look at that chest in a moment. Okay. I'll put that in there. Now let's take a look at the chest. 
Nothing really that amazing. Okay, so we are going to damage him enough that we can make him into a vampire thrall. By the divines, it's as if my eyes have been opened. I am blinded by the light of your majesty. I... I must obey you. What would you have of me, master? Certainly. I will set out at once then. Okay, so he is going to head back, and uh, and we're done here. Um, let's find a suitable way to get down. But yes, serious props to whoever designed... Uh, Design this place. Okay, so the Moth Priest will head back to Castle Holocar. And, um... That leaves us with several options uh, on what to do next. We could just head back up there. And that opens uh, a pretty fun line of quests. We could do more with the Thieves Guild, also fun. We could do more with the Dragon Line of Quests, or we could do more with the War. But I think I'm going to leave that uh, decision for the next uh, Let's Play. But I'm going to level up before I... Uh, before I head out, so let's take this level and uh, I'm doing pretty well on both of these, but I think I'm going to need more Magicka in the future. And I, I'm pretty sure I am going to be using more conjuration, but there are also some other things that I could easily decide to spend this on. Could improve blocking. Not quite good enough to take uh, this perk, which is really nice. Um, it, it means that you no longer, uh, or well, you only take half damage when you have your shield up uh, from elemental sources, which means. If a dragon is breathing fire at you, or ice, or whatever, you can just kind of stand there and take it. You can improve one-handed or archery. We might not really need to improve archery too much more because it's already plenty deadly. But I think actually the most be uh, benefit of, uh, to us right now would be to improve our conjuration. So I'm going to take Summoner, and not too long afterwards I imagine taking Atromancy and, uh, and Elemental Potency. But yeah, th those are really useful perks. Because, um, yeah, if you can summon a, an Atronach and put them, I guess it's not really that much further away. It's moderately further. At the second level, this perk gets really exciting. 
but but yeah, you get some pretty nice benefits. And he's actually going to run all the way back to Castle Volokar now. You could decide to go with him. Not as much as it's true for most of my brother. What we do know, these chosen. F I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. Yeah, he's he's just going to sprint all the way back. But yeah, we'll we'll take care of more of that in the next uh, next let's play. I'm Pat Gunn. I've been your host.